Okay, we're going to talk about the time of the Gentiles because we are in the time of the Gentiles. And uh, basically, we're going to explain it in detail today because uh, we got seconds left, people. And I'm telling y'all the truth. And you should, you should feel this, you know, got something that's wrong and we in that time. And at any moment, everything finna just change for eternity. So we're going to start with Luke 21 to establish and, and every time I talk about this people say it's racist it's not racist it is the the Bible the end and it is the truth in the Bible whether people like it or they don't like it you know uh, everybody have to take you know the issues up uh, with the Bible with God you know and with that said let's get into it Luke 21 24 they will be killed by the sword, and that's the Hebrews, and will be taken as prisoners to all the, the, the nations as captives. Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles are fulfilled. And so the Gentiles have a timeline. The Gentiles have a timeline on this earth, you know, and whether they like this or not, it is the same timeline that the devil has. You know, and, and that's just the truth. And so we're going to keep going. Joel 3, 12. Let the Gentiles be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. And watch. God told the Gentiles to prepare war, right? In this same verse, prepare war. But he told us to make peace with each other. It's just facts, you know. And it's why is God saying for them to prepare for war? For there will I sit to judge all the Gentiles round about. They are in the land of Jehoshaphat, people. They are over there. Jehoshaphat is right between Syria and the, the fake Jerusalem. It's right there in between each one. And Armageddon is, Armageddon is happening right in that area. So they warn their asses off right now. And it's getting more serious every day. You know watch Stephen Benoon or Denoon uh, channel and he loves to, to, to speak speak about war you know that's his main topic uh, Ezekiel 30 number 3 for comes now the day comes now the day of the Lord the day of clouds the time of the Gentiles is fulfilled so right around the time of the Gentiles uh, quickly right after that the day of the Lord is coming so when the Gentiles get their asses handed to them over there in Jehoshaphat in Armageddon when they destroy each other with nukes and bombs and missiles you know and, and all their little war toys that they made God is coming down to destroy this nation you know this this world a revelations 11:18. And the, the nations were angry, and, it, and this is now that it's talking about, and the, at that wrath has come, that the weather is getting rough, the tiny boat was tossed, you know, uh, all the wet, bad weather, the sun, the earthquakes, the mountains, is, you know, the, the volcanoes, all of it, is, it's all going bad, and uh, Gentile land everywhere, you know, their governments is going downhill, you know, and this is the wrath of God. And they're angry with that. And the time of the dead that they should be judged. And that's all we're waiting for is for the dead to rise. For the dead to rise. You know. Uh, and then that will be a sign that it ain't no denying right there. Micah 5.15 And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the Gentiles. Such as they have never heard. And this is God. And so it's a the judgment means is that God already came up with his judgment. His judgment is to destroy the Gentiles and to make them captives. Because it's just like I said, as a man sows, so shall he reap. You sold that. Your generation sold that. And so you have to reap it. It has nothing to do with me or anybody else on this earth. It's retribution. Our forefathers did wrong. And guess where we at? We in the land of our captivity paying for the wrong that our forefathers did. You think that ain't going to happen to you? It has to. God is a fair and just God. And what he says is manifest. So basically, 
that that's what you're saying right here. Ex vengeance is going to be executed in God's anger upon the Gentiles. You know, such as they have never heard is going to be very bad, guys. Ezekiel 22, 22. As silver is melted, and it's letting you know the seriousness of the day, in the midst of the furnace, so shall you be melted in the midst thereof. And you shall know that I, the Lord, have poured out my fury upon you. And so, you're going to be put in this pot and melted. You know, they, they, it's funny how they use that terminology, melting pot, huh? And you're actually really going to be in a melting pot. And to, to, you know, let me be clear about it. Gentiles today are black, white, green, yellow, and brown. They're all the colors of the rainbow today. You know, and this is what God is saying. And he's going to melt them all. You know, he said their tongues are going to melt in their mouth and their eyes and their eye sockets, right? Nahum number one, Nahum one number six. Who can stand before his indignation? And who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? And so he's going to be a very angle, angry, wrathful God. His fury is poured out like fire and the rocks are thrown down by him, which we know to be the meteorites, asteroids and everything else. And, um... What do you call the ones that are called the, uh, I can't think of, hailstones. Ezekiel 38, 22. And I will plead against him with pestilence. And I'll put this in order, you know, purposely so you will know the order and the timeline that we in. And this is to establish the timeline of the time of the Gentiles. And to prove to you that we are right here at the time of the Gentiles. They are getting judged by God right now. The judgment is death, it is, it, you know, and it's death by fire. That is the judgment, you know, the death by the sword. He said, I'm going to call for a sword against them throughout my mountains. Ezekiel 38, 21. I will call for a sword against them throughout my mountains, says the Lord God. So, Ezekiel 38, 22. And I will plead against him with pestilence and with blood, and I will rain upon him and upon his bands and upon the many people that are with him, an overflowing rain and great stone, hailstones, fire, and brimstone. And with, who is he talking about? the Gentiles so I keep trying to tell people if you are with the Gentiles you're gonna pay the best thing that a Gentile can do is be with God's chosen people and I'm talking about with your heart if you just sitting there pretending to be with us and you hate our guts you know it's something totally different but if, if you actually with us and you've been with us and probably been with us before God that you even knew God said this you in good standing God will bless those who bless us. You know what I mean? And God will hate those who uh, curse those who curse us. Ezekiel um, 25, 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom, which is Edom, the white man, you know, by the hand of my people. And so that's a race war, people. If you don't understand that, I, I Raptor News didn't write this. This is right, written over 2,000 years or 3,000 years before Raptor News. And they shall do in Edom or unto Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, says the Lord God. So God is taking full accountability and credibility for this. Uh, 1 Peter 4, 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved... And I know that for a fact that we barely going to be saved. I mean, make it into uh, the eternal kingdom. Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? In hell? He already told you. Woe to the man with iniquity on his back. You know, woe to that sinner on the day of, of judgment. You know, woe to you. Because you are getting ready to get gaffled. For real. I mean, you're going to be in a bad predicament. People keep thinking that they can wash it in the blood of Jesus. And you can't wash nothing in the blood of Jesus. You know, uh, if you keep repeating sin, the New Testament tells you that the deal is off. You're going to hell. So basically, I'm telling everybody, we in the timeline of the Gentiles. It is over. It's over. You know, uh, we we at that, that, that point. You know, and it's just whenever God say when, the dead is going to be raised. God's people is going to be lifted out. And all hell is going to break loose on this world. It is going to happen. And all these people in denial. And like he said. As in the days of Noah. They eating and drinking. And being merry. And marrying. And all of that. Partying. And smoking. And, and homosexual acts. 
they all going to get taken, man, and they're going to be taken to the most horriblest melting pot that there is. And they don't want that fire on their ass, but they don't know that. So they're going to continue right now until it's too late. This is Rap News.